Hi, uh, I'm Nikki, aka Kiwi Cruzette. Um, I'm currently on a 48 state USA motor camping trip. I've had some people ask me um, questions about what clothes I wear. What is my riding attire? So I wanted to run through what I am wearing. Uh, obviously everyone has different needs according to the type of trip they're doing. Um, this may give you an idea of the kind of things you need to consider. My jacket. Now this is a leather jacket uh, and uh, it is one I've had for about 12 years. Uh, it has armor in the elbows, it has armor in the shoulders, um, and it has a pretty firm back plate. Uh, now, it also has a thermal liner that I can zip in. It's currently really hot right now, so I have zipped that and it is tucked away in my bag. Uh, the most important thing when you're looking at jackets is, uh, well, two things. You want to make sure that it is resistant to abrasion, uh, so that's where leather comes in, uh, and also um, it's going to help on impact if you do hit the deck. So that's what this armor is about. So uh, leather is a really, really great um, fabric. You can get um, synthetic uh, fabrics that are more waterproof. Um, but I prefer leather. It is really long lasting. So like I said, I've had this for um, you know 12 years or so uh, and it's still in great shape. Now I, uh, I used to put a wax on it to uh, help it with its water resistance, a beeswax. Uh, these days I'm a little lazier. I just sprayed it with silicon spray before I left on this trip. Uh, the next uh, essential item is your riding pants. Uh, these uh, I bought about a month ago. Uh, the brand is Climb. Making sure that uh, these are going to be resistant to um, abrasion and also they have armor in their knees. I have a friend who didn't have any knee pads. He got hit in the knee with a flying rock that ricocheted off the truck and he blacked out for five seconds because uh, probably because it's a pressure point. I don't know why. Um, but the point being is uh, you should definitely opt to get knee pads. I also have hip padding in here. The other thing with these pants uh, is that they are waterproof. They have a lot of pockets, that's what I'm also looking for. Uh, and zips for ventilation. You get really hot in these things. One other thing I would recommend is uh, having some cotton leggings that you can wear underneath, uh, much like this because uh, this fabric, it's really tough. Um, it's gonna cause chafing if you just go uh, without any undergarments. Another essential item is gloves. So these gloves I have have knuckle padding. Uh, that is, again, in case I fall off, I wanna make sure I have as much protection as possible. Um, these are pretty old. <laughs> again, I'm really using my gear until the very bitter end. These are my summer gloves. If it starts to get a little cold, I'm gonna throw on my winter gloves. These are, again, uh, they've got the knuckle plate, um, but they also have a lot thicker material. Um, so I would not wear these on a day like today, but if it starts to get cold at night or it rains, I'm gonna throw these on. Now, if it rains, like really rains, uh, I am going to need my rain suit. I keep this in my side bag. Now, I have opted for a one piece because I've found when I have a two piece, the rain slips down in the gap between the jacket and the pants, which I hate. Um, the only thing about this that I do not like uh, is that I can't have my boots on when I put it on. So the next time I would be looking for a rain suit, I'm gonna look for something that has zips on the legs. Okay, these actually do have Velcro. <laughs> Well, I still feel like that would not fit my boot through it, but I will try next time it rains. Um, but that's just something to be aware of. To make sure you get a proper pair of riding boots. Uh, you want something with ankle support uh, and you want something ideally made of leather. Uh, again, uh, this is really good for abrasion. Uh, your feet can get stuck under the bike if you uh, come off. Uh, so you want to make sure that those ankles are covered um, and that you have a really solid material. Uh, these are these are Harley Davidson boots. Uh, I just like the look of them. When it gets really, really cold, I have a set of thermal undergarments. I have here the pants and the top. Now the brand I use is Icebreaker. This is a New Zealand merino wool brand. It is incredibly warm uh, 
and this is just coming from my um, snowboarding gear. But we are in the middle of summer right now here in the US, so uh, I haven't needed to wear these, but as I ride into the winter, these are gonna come in really handy. I store these in my side bags. I wanna make sure they're really easy to access. The last thing I wanna do is dig through my big main bag, you know, unstrap it um, to try and find that item. If there is an emergency, I carry my trusty uh, reflective vest. I have not had to use this yet, but in the event that it was, uh, you know, I had a breakdown, it was nighttime, it was dark, and I want to remain visible, I would put this on. So I keep this, it's very, very small when it folds up, so um, this is something that I wanted to have even though I may never use it. Of course, a helmet, you need a good helmet. Uh, you want to make sure this is um, certified. It needs to ideally have a day visor and uh, something to block the sun. I, here we go. Mine just does a little drop down thing. I know people that carry the extra visor on and they just clip, unclip the day visor uh, off and put on the tinted visor. Uh, that's entirely up to you, but it's something to think about. This isn't really part of my riding gear, but it is important enough for me to mention. My Garmin InReach satellite phone, I always have it clipped around my belt uh, and that just allows me to get out of any tricky situations um, that I may find myself in. So this is tracking me wherever I go. Uh, it also allows me to text people anywhere in the world for assistance and I have an SOS button. My philosophy is to have uh, good riding gear that lasts a long time um, and then you'll have a safe and happy trip.